Is distinguishing your research activities from the work of others a familiar challenge? Or do you find managing multiple research activities across information systems frustrating? It's important that your complete scholarly record is easy to discover and kept current, both for your own needs and for others wanting to review, evaluate, and follow your work. ORCID.org offers one way to help solve these challenges. It provides a central registry of unique identifiers for individual researchers, meaning once you register for a unique and persistent digital identifier, that identifier can be linked to your research activities to form your complete author record. So whether you have a common name or have published under multiple names or name variations, identifying your work with a unique ORCID number helps distinguish you from other authors and maintain a complete and current record. ORCID.org also works with cross-industry organizations to help make it easier for you to connect your ORCID ID with your research output from multiple sources, including Scopus. Once you establish an ID, you can add your published work to your record directly from databases like Scopus and also use your ID when submitting articles to ensure they are correctly identified with your record from the onset. Let me show you how this works with Scopus. First, if you are new to ORCID, begin by either going to www.orcid.org, orcid.scopusfeedback.com, or by clicking Add to ORCID from your Scopus Author Profile page. Then register for an account. If you already have an account, sign in. Next, although it is not necessary for importing your Scopus information into ORCID, taking the time to fill out your ORCID record may help the identification of your profile and subsequent steps. Once you are ready to import your work, click the Link Works button here and scroll down until you see Scopus to ORCID. Selecting this option will open an authorization screen asking for your permission to allow Scopus to access your ORCID record. To continue, select Authorize. Scopus will now search its database using the information you provided during registration, and then pull together all profiles that contain publications authored by you, based on the information you provided. Review the list of profiles using the Show Recent Documents option if you need to see what publications are linked to each profile. Select the profiles that are indeed yours, and then click Next to continue. Now select your preferred profile name from the list of options. Next, you'll see a list of publications associated with your profile. Scroll through and review the list, clicking on the X button for any publications that need to be removed. If any documents are missing from your list, click Search for Missing Documents and search by keywords or the full title. If you find the missing work, select it and click on Add Selected Articles. Once you have all your documents included on the list, click Next. Now review your profile to ensure that the data that will be sent to ORCID is correct. If you are satisfied and ready to continue, click on Next. Once you have reviewed and corrected your profile, you are ready to send your Scopus ID to ORCID. Enter and confirm your email address, then press Send Author ID. You'll be prompted to authorize the data transfer. Once authorized, your Scopus Author ID will be sent. Next, you'll want to send your publication list to ORCID. To do so, simply click Send My Publication List and then authorize the data transfer. You will now find your publications listed under the Works section of your ORCID record where you can also change the privacy level for each work as desired. And you'll also find that your ORCID ID now appears on your Author Details page within Scopus, making it easier for others to link to and view your public ORCID record. Additionally, you can search by ORCID number here to quickly find and access the Scopus Author Profile page. Connecting your Scopus Author ID to your ORCID ID not only helps you organize and maintain your publication information under one profile, 
It also helps facilitate discovery and evaluation. Thank you.